Hi, my name is Niru and I'm with Mothers Out Front. Today we'll hear from my neighbor Dave and learn about how he sealed and insulated his home to make it more energy efficient and reduce his energy bills. Wow, what a gorgeous house. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we're really enjoying it so far. We moved in recently. So we're getting accustomed to how to deal with the energy bills that also go along with living in an older home. Uh, so I wanted to show you this window. So this is definitely not a tight fit. And you can see that there's a gap where the windows meet. So in the winter, we can actually feel the cold air get in. Well, and that's very typical of old houses. And I have the exact same problem. And I think the first thing to think about is think about your house as a building envelope, right? It, mm -hmm. um, and you want a tight envelope. Exterior walls, windows, doors are, you know, what contains the energy, the heat, your money, and so you want to seal it as best you can. Really the first step is to get a MassSave audit. Yeah. Um, MassSave is a great service in Massachusetts. You're paying for it through your utility bills. They will come in, do an audit, they'll weather strip, they'll provide LED lights, low flow aerators, etc. But they'll also give you a roadmap for how to increase the efficiency of your house. We first did that to get a sense of what was happening in our house. We got our weather stripping done. Mm -hmm. Then we had them back to talk about insulation. Then we had them back every time we <laughs> upgraded our heating system and got discounts. So yeah. I've been through that process four times already. And if you want to, why don't you come over to my house and I'll show you what I did. That's great, I love that. Okay. So Dave, it looks like you have a very interesting setup here with both maybe older windows up top and newer ones below. Can you walk me through that? Sure, Nira. Um, so this is sort of a history lesson of what happened in our house. Um, when we originally came here, we had older windows that were rattling. Um, they, they actually were double pane, but they were cheap, and so they'd rattle. So we, over the course of many years through MassSave, have been replacing these windows. So this is a modern uh, mm -hmm. replacement window. It's, it's well sealed, it's very tight, yeah. and it's got multiple layers of seal. So there's actually three seals here. And so when it's down and locked, it's very airtight. Um, before that, we would seal it with more tight. So this is the more tight yeah, you're talking about? Yeah, this is the more tight. This is just a, uh, it's a putty. Yeah. It comes in rolls like this, and you basically put it in cracks mm -hmm. and press it in, and it stays there nicely and it seals it up. And it's one solution. Um, it's not perfect because you have to take it on and off and it does seal in your window. Um, another solution is to do something like this, mm -hmm. which is a plastic, um, in this case, on these old uh, upper windows, there, there weren't storms behind these. So I built these frames yep. and stretched window plastic across it. Now, you don't have to use frames. You can actually put window plaster across the whole window frame itself. And on your windows, mm -hmm. they're so beautiful and tall, you're probably going to have to buy it in rolls. And you tape it at the top and the edges and stretch it down. And then you use a, a hair dryer to actually shrink it and make it very taut. And it's as you can see, it's almost perfectly clear. Um, there's a little bit of fogginess, but it disappears pretty quickly, yeah. and it does an excellent job of sealing drafts. So this so. seems like something I can even just do at home. Yes, absolutely. Anyone can do it. That's and, perfect. Um, we have some other things mm -hmm. I can show you, too, in terms of just general sealing. Yeah. Um, so we talked about Mortite. There's always these foam, you know, adhesive foams that you can put on when, when you can put it at the base of your window or mm -hmm. at, the, at the door sill. Um, sometimes these compressive tubings are mm -hmm. better for that. Um, but that's an example of different types of weather stripping. There's brass weather stripping. There's plastic little flat weather stripping. Um, so there's many types of weather stripping that can be applied. And again, MassSave will provide some of that for free. Some of it you can just get at your hardware store. Yeah. And so what's this? So this is interesting. It's an aluminum foil, um, foil on both sides with a bubble wrap in the middle. It doesn't have a high R value, but it does have high reflectivity. Mm -hmm. And what I've done here is actually put it behind my radiator. So if you have radiators, yeah. it's a great way to bounce some of that radiant energy back into the room and to basically keep it from heating up the wall really hot. Yeah. And 
you know, exposing it to the outside. Even though it's insulated on the outside, it's still going to leak some. Just an so, extra layer? Yeah, sort of yeah. a radiant bouncer. Yeah, that's great. Okay. <laughs> so after you've sealed everything, what's the next step? Well, so the, once you have your envelope sealed, the next thing is to insulate it. Because even though you're not losing anything through drafts, you are losing it through convection to the outside. So the first thing we did was insulate our walls. But normally, you might insulate your attic first. Um, we had done an attic renovation, and so that was well insulated when mm -hmm. we renovated it. Our house was really uninsulated, mm -hmm. believe it or not. And that's where actually MassSave really helped. Um, and so that three-inch air gap in our framing um, gets filled with blown-in cellulose. So they go in from the outside, they cut a small two and a half inch hole, and they blow it in through a pressure hose, and they seal it up, paint it, you never know it's there. Nothing happens on the inside, you don't see anything, nothing changes, except for all of a sudden, your house is quieter <laughs> and a lot warmer. And that comfort level is huge. Yeah. And I definitely recommend that. Yeah, you can hardly hear any street noise and there's no drafts, so right. it sounds like a good choice. Of course, you can't stop there. There's also insulation in the basement that you can do as well. Interesting. Let's go see what you've done in the basement. So one thing we did in the basement, I haven't insulated the basement at mm -hmm. this point, but one thing we did do is we spray foam the sill. And that does a couple things. It insulates it, but it seals it really well. And sills are one of those hidden areas where you get a lot of infiltration. And any, mm -hmm. you know, any air coming in or heat going out is bad so mm -hmm. you don't think about your basement because we know heat rises but uh it cold air also will infiltrate in and especially if you have a ceiling in your basement it will get yeah. trapped in there and then rise up and so it's another great thing place to do where yes. we might <laughs> need to insulate right great and one other thing i want to show you is is the door so this is yeah. an old original door that never quite fit its frame right. There's always gaps here. Mm -hmm. And we weren't able to find a door this wide anywhere yeah. <laughs> easily. So we just weather stripped it and you can do it yourself. Um, we used a door sweep down at the bottom and foam weather stripping around the edge. And it makes a nice tight seal. Yeah. Um, one thing that other people have done and we did originally before I sealed it was use one of these door snakes where you basically throw them against the, the sill and it keeps down the drafts. Yeah. Uh, not perfect, but it helps. Well, they're so, cute. Yes, they're cute. <laughs> well, thanks so much for walking me through all the improvements you've made. It's amazing. Anytime. Happy to help. And good luck with all your projects. Thank you so much. I'll head back and see what I can do. Okay. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. So I took Dave's advice and I got some more type from the hardware store. Um, and so you can see it actually comes in different colors and I got a brown color so it would actually blend in with my window frame. So I'm filling the gap in the windows right now and this will make a big difference come winter. Thanks to Dave, we learned a few ways to make our homes more energy efficient. We can start with a mass save audit, but also incorporate DIY improvements. I hope you can start to apply these ideas to your own home and both make your home more comfortable and start to save on bills.